Brick, they are murdered, homie. They're simple. Mm. They are murdered. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm whew. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's go to the next one. And why would this bitch get away? See what I'm saying? It's just Yeah, it's just hella it's just tight. There's no no space. That's all it is. To renew it's not it's not you, it's the fact that Nissan, you know, that's how they made it. And stupid. You can't get mad. <laughs> that's true, that's true. You just can't get mad. You just gotta say, hey, you know. It is what it is. You know what I noticed, bro? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the coils that's making that noise, bro. Because when I was driving... The coils? No, I mean, you remember I was saying that noise you'd be hearing rattling in my car? Yeah, there's something It's going something on. on I book. think it's something on the... Um, I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, so that's a blessing. Look, look, look. Oh, shit. So, yeah, it's they, supposed they, they, to be rubber, dude. What the fuck? So, yeah, so basically, they haven't... Whoever had this car in the before never did anything everything just been stock and this car got a lot of miles guys this car got now it got 165,000 miles so for the longest nothing been touched under here so now so it makes you wonder about all your other vacuum hoses here. right because now i'm thinking about it that's a lot of miles yeah. again that's something that you can buy from autism right they they sell those for they have those for a reason bro mm -hmm. something bad like that like oh i broke a hose that sucks well guess what they carry it there's autozone's not just open or at least not just open you know they have shit they have stuff need, like cooling oil parts store okay let me take off cylinder number one. one remember what i told you yep one three five like one bank two if you're facing it cylinder is one and two are always the front okay now if it's the okay. other motors this way mm -hmm. the other side way cylinder is always the same thing same thing but facing that one two one goes one and two this way oh okay you, you got you it's right kind. got you like those infinities and shit okay okay mm. Yeah, that's why I like you doing my car, bro, because you're teaching me a lot of shit I never knew. And again, it's just a lot of common sense. Like, right. Every car's kind of the same. Mm. Honda's replaced the spark plug. I like Honda. It's easy. It's right? more easy. It looks like it's more I can just... replace my valve cover way faster than I can do yours. Right. It's just there. Right. Your shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's tedious. More. Yeah. The Hellcat. Oh, man. Don't get me. Oh, man. Shit. How, how the I like Hellcat? I my Hellcat, but... Oh, my. Oh, so the engine bay is like it's really too much work. Oh, gosh. It took me two days because I had to remove and I got 16 spark plugs. Oh, how much pay for your how much you pay for your spark plug? 65 total. Yeah, okay. I went with Brisk Racings, they're like almost 20 each. So I paid more than 100 from my shit just so I can have good power. You know what I mean? Hey. And that's just the little extra shit that matters. Just a little shit. Yeah, because they did have one for mines was like um it was another brand above mines. Not I didn't have the best one. It was one be above mines that was like $13.99 a piece. So that one looks good too. Ooh. But this one didn't have a this one didn't have a thing, remember? They oh, so it didn't, huh? Yeah, this one did this is cylinder one uh number one. One, yep. three, three, five. Four, five. Yep. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap them like this. Gotcha. So we do both jobs. We swap spark plugs and we swap coil. If worse comes to worse. So the good news is Misfire 3 doesn't come back on, we're good. Good. It means okay, it was probably spark plug. Right. Worst case scenario is Misfire number one comes on. We replace the spark plug, all of them. Right. Now we know it's not a spark it plug, spark. it was a Coil. Uh, coil. You want to double check? All we do is swap the coil back. Then as we say, Miss Fire number three, coil. Mm, Easy, okay. Got you. Mm -hmm. So so hypothetically, knock on wood, hopefully it's not it's not gonna happen. But if it is the coil. I think it's your spark plug, honestly. I just saw it. It looks fucking <laughs> you saw? Yeah. Yeah, the ass. Ass. Cause for it to just pop out of nowhere. Cause it should have been well, never mind. No, no, say what you say. No, I was going to say, I was going to say, like, if it was way worse, I feel like it should have been popped up. 
But then well, again, but sometimes shit don't. Ha sometimes shit just happens randomly. Heart so. Is trying to correct itself. Mm. That makes sense. It's trying to correct itself before anything happens. Okay. So that's why it was running weird. It's misfiring. You remember I told you aliens. It goes by order. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going one, two, nothing, three, five, right. six. Right. You keep, you're missing a platter. And missing it. You're missing three. So yeah, so skipping it. Every time it ignites, it's like that's why your car goes. Duh, 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 duh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the beat, and then the beat goes yeah, off. Go off. It's, it yeah, go off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And remember what happened? It sounded normal in this exhaust. Yep. But and then when that's, exhaust that's did it, it didn't sound like anything. Right, right. And you're saying, how come this one makes its always go, 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 go? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The other one goes, a do, a do. No, facts. Wait, did you just answer your question? <laughs> wow. Makes sense. See how it kind of works? Yeah, See, it's not hard to understand cars. Right. It gets... It gets very technical sometimes, but you gotta take it down like, all right, hold on. Hold on. Mm. Again, the valve cover, yeah, it's it's a minor leak. It's not that. You don't cry on it. Right. It's not like you're never going to drive your car. Right. So now we're going to look at number one just for the hell of it. I like to look at all these cylinders. Okay. Because they're all connected. Okay. So that's why I do that. I heard this one right here is going to be hard to get. Oh, the number one? Number oh, oh, five. Oh, five. Oh, because it's all the way back there. Yeah, tucked it's a tight in. fitting. Right. And my buddy said, if you, he said, you know, do the coil, take off three coil, unplug it all the way off, so you have room to pull back, but don't unplug the, don't unplug that coil. Okay. Just leave it plugged and pull out the spark plug. Mmm, got you. Yeah. A temperature sensor on the muffler. Okay. Point at it. One will show how, the degree of how hot this one is. Right. The other one will show if it's less hot. Okay. And it's that. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. This is one. This is three. And this is five. Look how bad this one is. And this one didn't even get picked up on the, the thing. It didn't read it. read this one. So thank God we did get some new um, sp uh, spark plugs because look how bad this is. And since you see this has a lot of oil on it, that means it's going bad. And I know I said that before in the video before that I need to get an oil catch can, but now I really have to order an oil catch can. So I'm gonna try to order one on Monday, order an oil catch can because yeah, you see what, what happens. If I don't have an oil catch can, the oil will just really get into that and I wanna prevent that as much as possible. Like Mike say, you gotta have extra insurance. Lucky you didn't have to buy injectors. These are more expensive. Thank good. God, yeah. They're like a hundred each. But eventually though. These are something you don't buy a set. People do it on race cars. Oh okay. But these you know. He's buying per. Can you get me the flashlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, give me number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swap it out. No. Three. it makes sense makes it easier yeah because if it was just you you know but in the future like if someone's like hey i'm gonna take care of your job if you go to work or something right like how do i know which one you're placing i'll be like oh i see it yeah so exactly he swapped coils he said he swapped three and one and swept it came before a misfire so he's gonna be like oh okay in the game see what i meant it's like mm -hmm. it's extra help right right Oh, Work smarter now. Oh, that man. sounds normal. <laughs> oh my gosh, came through. Tell what it was, man. So, to come down to find out everything first, I did need it. Um, I did need it. My um, 
spark plugs. I needed my spark plugs, so that was mainly a good thing that we did get that because the whole side over there, the negative side, which is the odd numbers, those were all dripped and um, they all had oil on it, but that one on the far end over there, which is the number six, it was dripping oil. So we number these because this was number three, which one, which is the one in the middle. So since on the on the cold reader, it was saying it was this one was causing an issue. So he had a good idea, yeah. the misfire. So he had an idea, he's like, let's move this to number one and to see if it's gonna say number one is an issue. And guess that what? The number one was the issue, which was this one, we labeled number three, but we put it at the number one slot. So yeah, it can't. So number three coil is bad. And we swapped it, put a number one. Yep. And the swap code came back saying, now it misfired number exactly. one. Exactly. Then they probably didn't see the video. Next you know, your car didn't start, you're tripping. Exactly, I was, I was stressed out, y'all. I was stressed yeah. out. Yeah. What causes a car not to start the first coil? Right. Number one got to start it was working. this so this one is really messed up so now i got a lifetime warranty and i do recommend you guys go to autozone because that's why i picked mine up and it's like oem basically and uh you get with lifetime warranty so if it ever breaks and you're in the system you don't need no return it you can just always go back in the future and uh return it but um the cool thing is uh well not the cool thing well the part that you guys didn't see it was when i was on the phone charge because the phone had died on me but so everything was right. So we put this to number one. Car was running for a minute. And all of a sudden that shit just went off. I was like, oh fuck. And then went through a dilemma because I was spending too much money that I barely had to get the uh, spark plugs and stuff because I, I wanted to get and make this be known. If you got to change one spark plug or two, make sure you just buy the whole damn thing. I mean, for mine, I had to do it because the car was, it never been worked on before. So I had to, but I would just recommend if you got to replace one, just get the whole damn thing and uh, replace it. But come to find out, it was really this. So this one piece caused my car to misfire. So now we got. Uh, Jesus Christ, that shit's loud. So now it's working. This was the issue that caused the misfire. This is replaced. My car is not making a raggedy noise and it sounds perfect. It sounds normal. Everybody that I really, 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 really sincerely fuck with besides the car shit, if I really fuck with you and this is my move, I'm gonna encourage all my friends and family to really build them a YouTube channel, especially if you're into cars and stuff or whatever it is, because I wanna see my whole team win. I mean, he's already winning. Obviously look at the goddamn Hellcat and all this other shit, but on a YouTube platform, I want all of my team, not team, but the whole fam to be winning at the same time. And um, and then once we all start blowing up, we all got different cars and shit, then they collab and stuff and then, you know, go from there. But make sure you guys support him when I put the information down below this channel. But this car, it's good. All right, y'all, so I finally made it back to the crib, about to get ready to chill, relax. And uh, yeah, man, I'm happy, excited that everything is done. The car is all corrected. And as you guys seen, we found out the real situation of the car, even though the spark, uh, spark plugs definitely needed to be um, taken out. And we got all new ones, all six. And we are back in business, you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in to this video. I hope you guys learn a lot because I learn a lot by watching how Mike works and how he works on my car. And that's why I got him specifically to be my personal um, technician to work on any car I have. You know what I'm saying? He teaches me the correct thing, the pros and cons about certain things. He doesn't bullshit me. He doesn't lie and tell me I need to get this when I really don't. He works the right way. And I love my bro for life. And like I said, I'm going to have him build his channel. But um, everything is good. I've been driving around. It's been three hours after I got the car fixed. And everything is running well. No, no, no lights popping up. No, no, nothing. Nothing's popped up. So we are all good. We in the building. So like I said, like and subscribe. Smash the likes, man. We're doing stuff every day. I've been dropping two to one video per day. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys share my channel with everybody else. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We got some crazy shit coming on Monday. But stay tuned. We're just getting started. We out, baby.